In this video, we've opened up the brain uh, by cutting right down the longitudinal fissure. So you can see this is the left cerebral hemisphere, this is the right cerebral hemisphere. And on this one you can see the pituitary gland hanging down from a stalk called the infundibulum. This is all suspended by this area which is the hypothalamus. If we look over at this sagittal section of the brain now, the pituitary is not here, it was represented on the other half, but what we do see is a cingulate gyrus right here, just above this large white C-shaped structure called the corpus callosum. This is a commissural region, it's a region of communication between the right and left cerebral hemispheres. There are two other regions of communication. Right here, there's an anterior commissure, and just back here, a posterior commissure. They're much, much smaller. In this view, you can also see what would be a, a small membranous area here called the septum pellucidum. Just beyond that, this white structure represents the fornix of the brain. This will later communicate with the hypothalamus. In this area here, we're looking at all that we can see represented of the thalamus. The thalamus is a much larger structure than this, but in this view, we're only able to view a little portion of it. This dark center is called the inner thalamic adhesion or intermediate mass. Just like the cerebrum, this is how each half of the thalamus communicates with each other. Just above that, we have these vas vascular looking regions. The red is arterial, the, the blue is venous. These represent a structure called the choroid plexus, which produces a fluid that fills the ventricles of your brain called cerebral spinal fluid. At the base of these structures, you'll see this enlargement called the pineal gland. Moving down here, we have the cerebellum. Also two hemispheres of the cerebellum exist. This is the right cerebellar hemisphere. The left was represented on the other model. The white you see here is called white matter, and its clinical name is the arbor vitae, meaning tree of life. The brown areas are the gray matter, or what we call the cerebellar cortex. You'll also find the same region denoted on the cerebral hemisphere is called the cerebral cortex. Cortex simply means bark, and so it's the outer gray matter regions.